you can't blame others on not supporting you as to why you didn't get far in life. Like, stop depending on others to make your life better. Waiting on people to support you, you're going to be waiting forever. We don't value the same things. So what makes you think that everyone's supposed to just agree with you? Hello my beautiful people, it's your girl Kai or Kyla Shea, whatever you want to say, and I is back with another video. If you're a new viewer, what's good, what's popping? If you're a returning subscriber, what's good, what's popping as well, okay? Okay. You guys, I don't want to say I'm sick or I'm under the weather because I don't want to be sick anymore, but the last couple of days took me out, okay? So when you guys hear all the congestion and like all the other stuff, that's why, okay? Okay. But I did want to come and talk to you guys today in regards to like pushing through um, without support or, you know, just not depending on others to get yourself through life, if that makes sense. Let me get some water because I know I'm going to get thirsty. I'm going to get real dry because I just I'm feeling way better today, though. I did have one follower. Uh, she has sent me her onion remedy that she does with her tea and things like that. So. I would love to say thank you so much. It did help a lot, especially like it helped within the same hour or whatever. It's just that I'm just really congested. So there's that. But let me get my water and I'm going to be right back. Oh, that water is so good. Okay, so I have in micro links. Um, I told y'all I've been enjoying wearing my real hair. Like, scalp, like the edges, they're still there. Okay. I love my hair. So we do have a new wig today. Y'all know I'm a, I'm going to just spray it because last time I said we was going to do just spray and I did glue. Today I see Young Hair has sent me some hair. So let's see what it's given. I don't, I've never did a review for them before. So here's the packaging. It comes in this. They don't want your box to be damaged. Do y'all know any of the girlies that was buying wigs or even if you was doing hair promo videos, them, them boxes would be so messed up. And it was just so ugly. So anybody that's wanting to have a hair business or anything, either do sell them in bags or do this. Okay. Presentation is everything, so I will say that. Ooh, yeah. And it's secure. It's very secure. I love this. And it's so sleek. And I got the foil. Yeah. Okay, so the only thing that came in the box was the wig. It's 28 inches. It's super cute. Um I'm not gonna say that yet. Let me see it first before I say that. Um, a wig cap and some lashes. I was hoping for a melt belt. I didn't grab one because I'm like, maybe they put it in the packaging, but they didn't. So maybe, you know, if you are a hair company, you know, you have, for my smaller businesses, you should include the melt belt. So sometimes I'm just like grabbing the ones, you know, I already had and whatever. Um, but they did give me a wig cap. That's my company, so I will say thank you. Mm -hmm. And the lashes. I don't, I don't wear the lashes. I don't to see like if you guys have any updates or whatever, like maybe something may have changed for like the better um, or whatever the case is. But you already know what I'm about to do. <laughs> Push this hair back and just put it up in a little knot. <laughs> I do like this, you can see. Y'all can see where, where my real hair ends at or whatever. But my hair has been doing so well, like with these different hairstyles and things like that. Like, I'm super happy. Okay, it's giving peacock, but this is going to do. I'm telling y'all, this is going to do. But yeah, so today, like I said, I wanted to talk to you guys about, ouch. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Jeez. Say only you can do stuff like this when you wearing like a curly or a bigger wig. When it's something straight, please do not try to do something like this. You're gonna have to take all this stuff out before you start putting wigs on, okay? Okay. But you love a good little, you know, versatility, okay? <laughs> um, you know, the usual makeup on the cap. Makeup on the cap. Mm-hmm. Oh, we didn't even check the we didn't even check the hair first before I decided doing all this. We gonna hope for the best, you know? We gonna hope for the best. Okay, so the wig, she is beautiful. Now, I will say, I don't know why 
the wigs are not coming bleached already. I feel like we're in 2023 now. I feel like the wig companies should have like, I think it just should be easier just to throw on a wig these days. You know what I mean? Like all the plucking, all the styling, all... I'm tired. I think that's really why I'm so tired of wigs. But so for I see young hair, I think y'all should start. I, I don't know, y'all probably do have it. Y'all just ain't send it to me. But having pre-bleached knots, like just ready to throw on the wig, y'all just gotta, we, all we gotta do is put a part. That's it. Simple. I, I just love a good simple, you know. But so here's the hair. Cause so y'all can see like it needs to be, um, you can still see the knots. Probably y'all can, but I can. Uh, but this is the hair. It's 28, it's 28 inches and it has an adjustable band in the back. Let's see what else is she giving. Let's see what she giving for the girls. Who? I'm telling y'all, me being sick, because I only get sick like once a, every other year or something. So when I do get sick, close down shop. I do not, mm, mm, it don't be hitting right. I don't need this band on here because it's already going to be like too much tension. I hate a tight wig. I just hate it. So let's put it up. I forgot to put makeup on. Put some makeup in here. And y'all can let me know, like, do y'all like when I'm talking to y'all, like, when I'm doing my hair? Or would y'all want me to just sit down? Like, is this too distracting? Y'all can let me know. Y'all can be so honest. With me. Just let me know. Do y'all want, like, regular just sit downs? Or do y'all want me to be doing something? So y'all can feel like you're supposed to be doing something too, you know? Because if I'm just sitting there, y'all just gonna sit there, you know? Versus, you know, like, when you're on a FaceTime call with your homegirl and you just walking around doing the rest of the stuff you're supposed to be doing? Yeah, we're both doing something. So matter of fact, just you let me know though if you want me to just sit and talk or you want me to be doing something and talk to y'all. I'm telling y'all, it'll probably, probably motivate you to go do something. I mean, it'll, it'll probably motivate you to clean up and stuff too and listen or eat while you're watching something. Now, I personally, I don't like hearing people chew. So I preferably would not like to eat while I'm talking to y'all because I'm, like, I'm, I'm not going to want to edit it. I don't want to edit I don't like people chewing. Like, I don't know how some people love that. Like, I don't like it, but hey, to each his own. Oh, I got my nails done, y'all. Y'all love it? Mm, yep. Y'all like it? Yep. See, I told y'all. Tend to y'all cells. So, I think more so for me, like, I like to get my nails done once a month because they last. I don't need them done every two weeks, me personally. I get stuff that I think I'm gonna like for that beard design. And so... So I'm saying you don't gotta do stuff so frequently, like especially when it comes to tending to yourself. I hate getting my nails done. I'll be so honest. I hate getting a lot of stuff done. I hate getting my hair done. I hate. Mm. If I didn't have to, I wouldn't. But I'd be needing to. So that's why I was doing a press once, and I was saving a good penny. But the once a month is fine, and this lasts longer. So that's okay. So look at the wig on. Let's see. Okay, so the wig is on. She's very much long. Y'all can see. Especially if I was to wet her, she would give. But I don't know how I want to part this wig simply because um, you can tell it's short. The frontal is way shorter than the hair. So we're kind of just like, it's giving lion. I feel like, but hey, it's whatever. So we're just going to probably do a middle part. But let's get into our conversation. <laughs> let's get into our conversation. So... For me, I, I honestly, so we can backtrack some because, okay, hold on, can I do a disclaimer? So, like, whenever you guys, like, come to me or message me, like, in, on Instagram, whatever the case may be, I would, <clears throat> I would really appreciate it if you guys would be like, hey, how are you doing? How are you feeling? How's your mental? Before you come in and, like, tell me, like, what's stressing you out or whatever, the, you know, just trauma dumping, basically, because... It is a lot. I'm going to be super honest. And it would just really feel nice to have others, you know, care about how I'm feeling as well. Like, just making sure that I'm okay to endure what you're about to tell me. Okay, so that was just my little disclaimer. And I know y'all don't mean any harm or you don't, you weren't thinking of it or like that or whatever. But just so you know, moving forward, I would rather you ask me how I'm doing or whatever before you just dump everything on me. Because it, it, it's a lot. It'd be a lot. Just, it's a lot. Okay. <laughs> and I mean, I'm here to hear everyone's, you know, problems or situations. But at least just show me the same respect 
as to caring about how I'm feeling, you know, but um, I'm looking at my phone while I'm doing this. That's why I'm not looking at y'all right now. I really want people to understand whenever it's something in life, you cannot wait on anybody. You can't allow others to dictate your next move. You can't blame others on not supporting you as to why you didn't get far in life. Like it's, it's giving you were just waiting on someone to come save you. And y'all know I'm not with that story. I'm just not. Honestly, and I feel like a lot of times it comes into when it comes to starting a business or quitting the job or dropping out of school, like, you know, your family isn't very supportive or whatever. So something I had to learn, because I do know, like, years ago when I was talking about, like, my situation where as though I didn't have, like, the support from my dad or whatever the case is, and I now, since I'm older, and me and my dad, we already talked, we, we're like this now, so it's like... I view him now as a human being instead of my father and understanding that where they come from. And it's not, you know, uh, condoning things that they may say to you or what they may do to you. It's not me approving of that, but it's just understanding why someone is the way that they are. How was they raised? How were your grandparents to them? How was their siblings, your aunts and uncles to them? Like, how did they grow up? What did they know? So when you understand like that's all they know, such as go to school, go to work, retire and die. If that's all that they know, you cannot be mad at them. And so me talking to my younger self, you cannot be mad at your father for not understanding you. Now, and you because you can do that with friends. It doesn't even have to be like a family member. You'll have like family members. I mean, um, you can have like friends that you don't understand but it's like you don't hold them to that same pedestal as you would a parent because you feel as though because they're your parent they're supposed to support you they're supposed to do this it isn't it they're human beings there's no guide to being a parent so if i have any of the mommies or you know daddy's watching my story right now like not my story <laughs> watching my video right now understand that there's no handbook there's no guide to being a parent so don't beat yourself up just do the best that you can and sometimes the best that you can do or like, you know, for you, for us, like our parents or whatever the case is, or the grandparents, sometimes I feel like it's an older generation, like the grandparents and great grandparents, their best wasn't good enough. And I felt like they always be like, well, I did the best I could. It wasn't good enough. And they have to accept the fact that it wasn't good enough. Like, and when it comes to, you know, bringing kids into the world without, you know, being financially stable, not having the help, not having a village and all these other things do play a part in how we all grow up or whatever, like your grandparents, how your mom was raised, your dad was raised, all this other stuff. All this matters. I'm telling you all this matters. So when you stop holding other people accountable and just hold yourself accountable, I feel like you would get so much further in life. All the, oh, my friends don't support me. My dad doesn't do this. And me looking back, I was just complaining. I mean, I still did what I had to do, um, but a lot of people, they don't still do what they have to do. They just complain and be stagnant and blame everyone else for their failures. It's no one else's fault but yours. And when you realize, like, you have to be in control, you have to be in control of your own life. Like, y'all can see the difference already. Look at the difference. Y'all see the difference? Right. <laughs> you have to be in control of your own life because, like I said all the time, like, life will just pass you by and everyone else is doing what it is they want to do and you're focusing on well I don't my parents don't support me or whatever whatever it is a blessing to have parents that support you it is a blessing trust me because like my mom she always supported me and everything that I had whatever I wanted to do and like you know even if she didn't see it because it's not her vision you know what I mean like but she still supported me but so I am very grateful and blessed to have my mom, you know, be there for me. Because, like, I've had, yeah, I had a lot of family members that didn't really support or, you know, didn't have anything nice to say. But it's like, I'm not going to force nobody to see what I see. Like, it's not for them to see, and that's fine. So, like, all that talking and, like, waiting on people to support you, you're going to be waiting forever. You got to push through day by day and do what it is you want to do. Seeking validation from others 
it's just going to cause you to be stagnant because like the most i don't i i don't like this question and i don't mean any harm at all but i don't like the question of when people come and ask like you know i don't have any support i don't my parent my my parents don't support me or whatever whatever like and i really want to start a business well if you really wanted to start a business then people not supporting you wouldn't even affect you if you really understand what i'm saying you know what i mean like i don't even like when people go into something with the mindset of someone doesn't support them or they don't feel like it'll succeed because of such and such and such like yes there always there's always two ends to a stick so it's like it's either it's gonna it's gonna go through or it's not and you got to be prepared for both ends for if it does go well and then if it doesn't but the sitting there oh my god i you know my dad doesn't do this my dad does this and it's just so hard and life ain't easy so what do you want to do about it you want to sit and cry about it and complain and let your dad win i don't let nobody win let me so it's like you sitting there crying and stuff that's just feeding that other person that's not supporting you they're like see they can't even do it like they can't even they can't even get up and go look and see start a new i don't know anything like you really have to understand that if you want something out of life you have to take it that sitting there and always wanting help or wanting a handout or and it's a lesson when you do have family members or, you know, friends that can support your goals and everything. But at the end of the day, it's your goal. So you have to get yourself to where you need to be. And you can't sit and dwell on so-and-so not supporting you and whatever the case is. Because, like I said, you're not getting anywhere, honey. Ooh, I put a hole in my wig. Mmm, this is a really good wig. It's okay. But anyway, <clears throat> sorry, I'm out of breath. <laughs> Seeking validation does not get you far at all. Okay, so when you're going, when you do things to get rewarded by other people, that ain't mm -mm, that ain't it. That ain't gonna last. I'm more so. I'm the type that I I am satisfied when. I do something because I wanted to do it. And I get satisfied. Nobody else got to like it but me. So it's just like, because everything is very subjective. And I say that a lot. So understanding that you are not going to please everybody. You're not going to have everybody on your team. As long as you got yourself, that's all that matters. You have to know that not everybody is going to support you. We're all different. We don't all like the same things. We don't all believe in the same things. We don't value the same things. So what makes you think that everyone's supposed to just agree with you? And like I said, me looking back, like my younger self or whatever, like you have to start looking at your parents differently and not as a parent. When you start viewing them as just like humans, you'll understand they make mistakes. They are learning just as much as we're learning. And no, like I said, I'm not saying them abusing you or whatever is not, that's not okay. That's not what I'm saying. But just understand, like, give your parents some grace. Give your family members some grace sometimes. And if it's those type of family members where so they're just nasty and mean, like they're just unhappy with themselves, you just distance yourself. You don't have to bring everybody with you. Not everybody has to support you, like I said. You don't have to wait on nobody. You do for yourself. And when it comes to finances, there's always a way. When you really want something and God sees that you really want something and you just trusting in him to get you further and further, he'll get you there. Will it be tomorrow? Probably not. But it's coming. Okay? I'm telling y'all. <clears throat> anything that you've been praying for is coming. But it's like, like I said in the other video, are you deserving of it? Like, are you even ready for it? Everyone deserves something great and amazing, but it's like, are you ready for something great and amazing? Questions that need answers expeditiously. <laughs> Stop holding others accountable for your life decisions. 
your life decisions. This wig is so beautiful. I love how big it is. Mm. I still gotta cut the lace off. <laughs> oh, I don't know. Like I said, I I'll be twenty four this year. I was with I was eighteen, nineteen. Yeah, when I was uh you know well I mean even before I was in my parents, but just like when I was blogging and sharing my you know sharing my side of like not feeling having not having that support or whatever but i mean it's a natural feeling to have but it's just like once you understand it and start understanding adults like parents grandparents other family members they're just they're learning as we go there's no handbook to life period so we're just like i don't be wanting to expect too much out of just anybody like whomever friends my man, my parents, my grandparents, my aunts, my uncles, I don't expect too much out of nobody because like I said, we're all, we're all experiencing this journey called life. And it's like, it will, you can't let life just tear you apart. You can't let your emotions get the best of you. You can't just, it's a lot of things you can't do. I feel like, let me spray it down first, you think? I feel, like that will, I feel like it will look better if I spray it down first. I'm just gonna spray it right here, right above, right in front of my hairline. Ooh, whoa, not too much. Not too much. Whoa, it's not even getting in my hairline. Let me get my mail belt since they didn't give me a mail belt. I hope they give y'all a mail belt. Mm. Okay, so this is from another company, so I'm going to have to turn it around. But maybe if I did have a memo for them, I wouldn't have to turn it around. You know what I'm saying? Y'all get what I'm saying here. <sighs> anyway. <laughs> um, but yeah, like I said, start viewing your family members as people and not family members. And I think that's, and I, I feel like also too, that's why I kind of, I treat that as in like, they're people on the street. I kind of, I would, I see... Now that I know that I view it that way and now it makes sense as to why I don't care to like cut people off or talk to people as if I would talk to somebody that's on the street. Because at the end of the day, I don't care who you are. If you're not respecting me, I'm not, gonna, I'm not giving you, I'm, I'm not giving you respect. I'm not going to stoop down to your level, but I'm not going to respect you. So it's just like, for me, I don't do the titles or whatever. At the end of the day, people are people. I don't care who they are. They are people. So when someone is not respecting you, don't stoop to their level, don't disrespect them, whatever, but just doesn't, don't give them, give them too much of you. Don't even engage too much. Like don't even allow them to get you angry. It's a lot of things to just not to allow them to do, but don't even allow them to get you out of character, basically what I'm saying. Cause like people will do that. They try to get you out of character, all that being nasty. I honestly don't want to... Put these ear tabs down but mm, hold on i have to cut it you know like we're not perfect and i feel like people try to make it seem like there's no people can't do no wrong people can't say any wrong like we can apologize and move forward and i think you have to forgive them or forget it or whatever that's up to you but give people to just give people grace sometimes okay we're all going through life we all go through something we're having a time we may say things that we may regret later but it's just like now for something like crazy off the wall. No, we cannot forgive you. <laughs> but, you know, just give people grace. I don't know. I'm just not, I don't know. I feel like I have a change of heart for a lot of things when I started to learn that we are all trying our best and trying this thing called life. And there's no handbook. All the, you know, did I just cut my hair? Don't play with me. Okay. Um, all the self-help books that we can read and stuff like that's cool and all, but it's not a guide. That's what worked for that author. Or even if they did like a little study or whatever, that's what worked for them. We're trying. So like just understanding, like not having the support or whatever the case is, you can't put that on people. You cannot put on, put your life's success onto other people. It's not their responsibility. We are we all have our own responsibilities. So trying to put 
your success as to if you're going to succeed or fail on someone else is very selfish and very lackluster and you don't hold you don't hold any type of accountability so it's just like acknowledge the issue at hand like are you are you behind because you were waiting on other people like are you behind in life because you were waiting on other people or are you behind or stagnant because you're waiting on somebody to tell you what to do or are you waiting for people to support you in order to get somewhere like start understanding that you are the problem in your own life and like i'll be telling y'all i tell y'all things and i don't be meaning to be mean or whatever but you can't keep sugarcoating these things like this because like i said life will pass you by and you'll always forever think that it's not your fault a lot of times it is your fault. A lot of your decisions that you chose, the, the path you chose is the path you chose. And like, you know, sometimes people try to blame their parents as to why they're behind. And again, if you view them as humans, you'll understand because you know how hard life is. And now, yes, I don't believe that they probably should have brought you into the world if they weren't stable or whatever things in life can happen. You know, they could be they could have been the richest people ever. Something could have happened. Now y'all, you know, ooh, girl, am I burning something? Ooh. <laughs> but y'all, you know, life happens. So please give people a break sometimes. Stop depending on others to make your life better. You make your life better. You make your life how you want your life to be. And everybody else are just characters in your life. They're just co-starring not even co-starring they're extras they're not even on the credits you know what i mean like start moving differently the complaining and the whining and all the other stuff ain't gonna get you nowhere sweetie at all and no, honestly nobody wants to hear it i don't want to hear it I don't want to hear the complaining and the whining and the, I'm, you're not doing anything to change your situation. You've been in the same place for three months, four months because you, have, you haven't made a change or you're waiting for so-and-so to support you. You waiting for your mom to give you the okay to support. The lady can die or she can be, your, the lady could be on her deathbed and she still won't support you. And you've been fighting all your life trying to get your mom to support you. I'm, it, you, you just have to accept the fate sometimes. I would love to do like a photo shoot with this wig. This is a beautiful wig, y'all. Do y'all see this? Oh my God, y'all gotta see that back. Do y'all see this? Hold on. Look at the beautiful wig. Y'all gotta see that back. My butt right here. My butt right here. Y'all see my butt? Y'all. Don't see my butt. That's where it's coming to. And if it was, and if it was what, fire. Top tier, top tier. But oh, just cannot wait till everyone is just like on the same page. We're understanding how life is, not holding things against people or making them feel like they're less than or they're not deserving because they're not supporting your goals or whatever. And like I said, you have to understand we're all going through life. Just, you know, I don't know how to word it because it's like, you have to understand, like even when it comes to your friends, that they're not supporting you, you have to understand too, like what are they going through in life right now? I'm so, sorry, I had just a random message to Verizon people. I don't know if this is real or not. You don't have to be trying to scam. The company trying to scam you, mm -hmm. I'm not going to open it. But, um, yeah, just, I forgot what I was talking about. Mm. Oh, your friends. <laughs> um, like, when your friends, you feel as though, like, they're not so supportive or whatever, like, understand where they're at in life. Like, are they going through something or whatever? And that's not giving them an excuse to be mean or nasty to you about your goals, you know, just even if they're just like, oh, you know, that's a great idea, but then don't really elaborate on it. They could be going through something. Stop making everything about you all the time when it comes to stuff like that because they may, that may be a cry out for help for them. And not saying that you got to go full in or whatever. Just ask them, like, hey, you know, maybe the next day, hey, you know, what's you going through? You know, are you, are you going through something? Are you okay? Like, just ask them. Those little simple questions can really get you far. Um, like, I mean, I do know some people that just don't want to talk about it. Oh, my God. 
oh, that just don't want to talk about or whatever. And that's totally fine. But just understanding your place in people's lives when it comes to family members, friends, your partner or whatever. Just understand where you stand in their life so that you're not expecting too much out of them. Because I'm tired of people expecting too much out of me or just in general. And it's just like... I, I, I may just not feel the same, you know, but understanding that we're all humans and not everyone is going to support you because if you have the mindset that everyone needs to support you or that your family needs to support you or that your friends need to support you, you're not going to get anywhere because like I said, this vision is for you. You can't wait on others to, to jump on the bandwagon for you to start something. You got to start it and do your thing. Stay in your lane. Stay in your lane. There we go. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I like that one. Mm hmm. Yep. Stay in your lane. Because when you start looking at other people, what they got going on, what they're not doing, who they're not following, who they're not supporting, who they're not, you're going to go crazy. Stay in your lane and focus on what you need to do to strive to become who you want to become. You'll get there. But all that waiting on someone to support you, waiting on your mom to jump on a bandwagon. You'll be waiting. You just got to prove it to people. All that talking, yeah, the words can be very discouraging. I've heard a lot of discouraging words, but it hasn't stopped me. All that talking, just keep pushing. Just keep it going. The train is going to leave you, honey. You can't even. The train ain't stopping for nobody. It ain't stopping for you. The train is going to keep going. Once you start, the train, once it starts, so everybody that wants to join, you know, everybody wants to support you, the train, we're not we're not making any stops. This is a one-way train. We're going straight to success. So you can't do all this getting sidetracked or letting others dictate how you feel about something. If you feel a way about what you got going on, go for it. I'm all for it. Um... Um, I don't know. I feel like because I talk to you guys, like I talk to my friends or whoever, because it's just like I don't like sugarcoating things and I wouldn't want things sugarcoated for me. If y'all don't like if you I wouldn't want I wouldn't want my friends to talk to me or be a yes man to me. I'm never a yes man to nobody and it just it doesn't work out. You can't be a yes man or expect people or even want people to be a yes man for you because this is like where is the accountability? You know what I mean? Um so stop focusing on who's not supporting you focus on who is supporting you like even for me like with me being sick over the weekend I had posted on my story that I wasn't feeling well it was just so crazy to see how my personal page nobody except for my friends nobody cared to say get well or whatever I did have a girl she commented and said um I hope you get a video next week I really love your videos and I'm like, I'm like, that's what I said. I did just post, but I'm not feeling well. So I don't know. <laughs> but on my business page, everybody was so nice and saying, you know, give me different remedies and telling me that this should feel better and things like that. Like, I can't focus on those that didn't say nothing to me. I'm going to focus on those that did say something to me. Okay. Cause y'all hear me. Okay. Y'all care about my well being. Because like I'm over here, you know, producing nice videos and giving y'all advice and talking to y'all and things like that. The least y'all could do is just ask, make sure I'm okay. Because y'all wouldn't be getting more videos, you know, like just little things. Um, but yeah, just focus on who's with you, not who's not. That's focusing on negative energy. And it's like you're not being appreciative of those that do support you. And it's like when you do have like a thousand subscribers, two thousand subscribers, a hundred subscribers, when you keep complaining about it, they're like, dang, does she not care about us? Like, does she not care that we're here? Stop focusing on things that don't matter. You have the hundred subscribers, focus on them, tend to them. You have the 20 clients, focus on them, tend to them. What more could you do for them to make them want to even recommend you to go to, to for somebody else to come to your channel, recommend you to come, recommend um, someone else to come to you to get a service done. Focus on what you do have and what you don't have because you don't have it. So how are you going to know how to tend to it? Right? So not having a support is you can't send to them because you don't even they don't like what you're doing. You know what I mean? Like you can't keep sending to people that's not that's going in one year, one ear and out the other. You can't keep doing that. You're going to feel so stagnant in life. And you're going to feel like you don't have anybody. You have people, whether it's one or two, it's not about the quantity. It's about the quality. So if you don't have a lot of friends or you don't have a lot of this and it, it's about the quality of those people or whatever it is that you may have. It's not about how many you have. It's about the quality of that. 
So not having the support from your parents or whatever, but you got a support from your friends, appreciate that. Be grateful. Tell them thank you every time that you can. Because that just, it shows gratitude. And you'll receive way more when you're showing more gratitude. You know? I'm just letting y'all know. Y'all, who I'll be trying to tell people, like, I don't know, I just, I, I personally, I do get annoyed when people come and tell me, like, so-and-so is not supporting them or whatever. They don't, they don't, this, this, and this. It's like, you're not confident in yourself. And that's where it starts at with anything. You got to be confident in yourself. You don't need support. You don't need, the, you need to be confident within yourself. You need to talk to yourself. Because at the end of the day, say your biggest support team is whoever. They get sick or they may pass away or whatever. Now you're crushed because that was all you had. You have your Self. put more into yourself show up for yourself more show put just put more pour into yourself a lot more okay <sighs> i hope y'all hearing me i hope y'all are hearing me today honey okay so i'm just gonna cut this lace i hope y'all are hearing me though i hope this is not going in one ear and out the other okay so i'm gonna take this off this belt belt Oh, she's giving scalp, honey. We're not, we're going to hide this, okay? Because I would, if this was, a, I'd rather have been a closure, but it's okay. So we're going to hide it. The hair is not, how y'all going to know? How would they know? You know? Right. Right. Yeah. So I'm going to cut the rest off. Yeah, so we're going to use this one. This is beautiful. Look how big it is, y'all. Do y'all see how big my hair is? The days be going by so fast. What time is it? I think it's like... It's already like four o'clock, probably three, three o'clock. Okay. Okay. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was super helpful. I will see you guys in my next video. And like I said, let me know if you guys want me to be doing my hair. Um, y'all want me sitting down. What do y'all want me to be doing like with these type of videos? But I have a lot more to come. I hope you guys have a blessed week, month, day, life. <laughs> and just, you know, Start showing up more and just start doing things. Start viewing life a lot differently, understanding that life is short, okay? So waiting on someone to support you, you're going to be waiting for a while, okay? So I'll see you guys in my next video.